Hello, hello! We're in the morning and I'm about to play with my bullet journal and a happy planner. So I had the idea that I will show you how I use it. So let's do this. So like you know, I have recently read the bullet journal method by writer si Carol and I, it, it made me just want to start all over the bullet journal and all these things uh, like I like you see I haven't done my May pages yet because I wasn't doing it in uh, in April but maybe I'll do this it's not too late but I want to show you in May what I've done so far so um, I use the Happy Planner because it's this bang and you can remove and add any page you want. Like uh, if I show you here, you can remove it and then just put it again. So I can add page um, in my bullet uh, journal slash planner as I go. And what I like about the planner is that the monthly spread I've made, the weekly spread I've made, or the weekly or the daily, how you depending how you use it, they all made so you don't have to do it again every month. And you'll see that I really focus on the technique rather than the beauty of my planner. Yes, I put stickers in it, but the main focus is really the to use it as a bullet journal. It's not to make it beautiful or to take pictures on Instagram. And if you do that, it's okay. It's just me personally, how I want to use it. So we have all the tabs for the month. So that's nice. And how I use it is that first there's the monthly spread. As you see, it's poorly decorated. But it's because I use it every day. I write some tasks I've done, some major tasks I've done, the tasks that were really like toward my goals. Like when I finished reading the bullet journal method or when I did my tax, uh, my tax paper or when I the the medical appointment or things like that okay i don't i will not write like oh i did the the dishes today like i will write it in my daily but not in my monthly the monthly it's really an overview of what i've done to advance my goals so that's it on the side it's like my monthly uh, spread my monthly task so when I have a task, I don't know where I'm, I will do it, or um, but I want to do it in May. I will write it here, and then when I decide my task of the day, I will just check it out if I can add it on my day. Then, I will show you something first. I want to focus on the daily spread. For me, it's uh, I don't do weeklies much. Um, because it's already put out like every day so when I have a task I know I will do on one day I write it this day and if I don't know where I'm when I'm gonna do it I write it on my monthly page and then I'll see how I use it so normally I'll just show you normally these pages are like this so we, you have three columns. This one especially is the wellness edition. So you have like uh, at the bottom you have like things like reflection, today's was, thankful for, th things like that. But I don't use it currently. I just, uh, I use the three columns. There's also on the side things that I like. That I like. It's fun. It's, it's how many days you exercises and a little prompt like this one is how I honored myself this week and a positive word reading listening to feeling watching so I fill them out it's fun but it's not the main focus so sometimes I decorate my well often I I put washi tape on those really nasty orange color because I don't like them at all and sometimes I go overboard and, <laughs> and I decorate uh, a lot of it. That's when 
I want to do it. And sometimes, so, so that's next week. So it's already already decorated the max that I can. I don't put sticker um, in the cases because I want I will write on this base. But if we check this week, the end of this this week, you see I have stickers. It's because there's days as you can see that I use all the columns and there's day that I use only one part of it so when there is still empty space I fill it with stickers because it's fun and it's it makes it beautiful but more for me it's not like I'm not trying to do a pattern like for example um Saturday I, I put no rain no flowers because it was raining and uh, at the same time, I was a little sad and uh, I did things difficult for me. So I put the sticker proud of you and then I just put this beautiful ladies because I was inspired by it at the moment. Okay, it's not more complicated than that. <laughs> and if we check uh, how I do my, my task, as you can see, I use the... Um, the bullet journal uh, method in like I put bullet in my task and then when I do it I use a, a check normally it's a X I think or it's a well I it doesn't matter I use a, a check when I do it I use the back arrow when I put it in my monthly spread or in my um, in my future log and I use the next arrow if I put it on another day of the week. It doesn't matter which day, just I've put it later, but I've put it somewhere in the dailies. And I also write my thoughts in the days. Like if something will happen and I have a reaction to it, I write it. And then I highlight all the big thoughts of the day. So that way I have like a, an overview in my week of what happened emotionally and what made me joyful or what made me sad and, and things like that. So on the, in the morning, what I do is that I check the, the task that I've done the last day. So now I don't have a lot of tasks here, so it's not a best example because yesterday I did my first task and then the um, so sorry it's in French but I did my taxes and I was supposed to buy a gift for my brother but I couldn't until the 21st so if you check I've put it there on the 21st I have to buy a gift for my brother's birthday so yes it's normal that they have already some tasks here but it's because i knew it things will happen and i knew this day i will have to do it so i don't have any task here to uh, to put it to do today but uh, yesterday I didn't, I like the, the thoughts, so I'm reading the thoughts and I'm highlighting all the important thoughts. So, uh, yeah, I, I have only two and both are important, so I'm going to highlight them. It's not, I don't mean important, it's more like... Sometimes I have ideas and sometimes I have thoughts and reactions. So the thoughts and reaction, I put it in uh, teal and the idea, I put it in uh, pink. So now I check my task of today and I will check my monthly. So on my monthly, I have three tasks I have to do in May, but I can't do them today. So I will leave them there and then I see that uh, today I have like two things to do and maybe there's one thing I was planning to do and things have changes and well I, I have to 
check on my boyfriend, but in the morning instead of in the night, so I won't have any time to do that. So I'm gonna move it uh, Wednesday. So now I don't want to do this today. I move it. I do a bullet. Bullet is for the task and empty bullet it's for the even but you can do as you want to I'm gonna move it here so I don't have any task here I only have even and it's on purpose because I don't want to um, to put some task today because I'm just gonna do my things and then go go check on my boyfriend so yeah I have to help him go to work because instead because if I don't do that he'll have to take public transportation and on these times it's not really a good idea so there's some days he have to go to work it's not uh, always but it's a few times a month and and when when this happens I help him because he doesn't have a car and I do so that's about it for the morning uh, i do more on the evening but i'll show you because uh, this evening i won't be home and there's no light in the evening so what i do is i check on on my task and if there's some that i haven't done i move it either on some days of the next week or on um, if i know where when I'm gonna do it, I put it like on the day I'm gonna do it. And if I don't know, I put it on my task of the month. The other thing I do is I will fill the space. Like I did, I didn't do it yesterday. I'm gonna do it today, but I won't like show you me searching my stickers. So, well, I'm gonna put stickers there. Then what I do is I... I I, ask, I write my ta my important task of the day like I showed you and at the beginning of the the planner there's some like year at a glance or month at a glance and I use this, this section to do gratitude so each day I'm gonna write, write one thing that I was really grateful for or that really made my day that way I will have all spread, all pages, uh, filled of joyful thing and it will be awesome. The other thing I want to show you is that in my month, like next week, you see that we see all week. From the Monday to Sunday. But it will not stay like this because as you can see on my last week, we only see the last part of it. The first part is, I don't know if it's decorated, but there's a lot of pages in between. Like the last part is, the first part is here. So there's pages in between. And what are those pages? It's all the pages I will write in my bullet journal. So it depends on the, on the week. But every time I would do like a, a spread or a collection, they call it, in my bullet journal, well, I'll do it on a page and I add it in my week so my week is full of things I wanted to do like here it was reflection on my life uh, what I want to do in one hour two days three weeks four months and five years I really like this exercise what do I want to learn um, my notes on the bullet journal method because I borrowed it at the library so I couldn't annotate it job ideas that I have um, here I just wanted to journal so I journaled here it was uh, it's in my in the finding your uh, finding your element there was uh, an exercises on doing like a visual vision of your life um, where you're at now so I did that I had some ideas of work so I I wrote it down and then there's my brainstorming on uh, writing because I plan on try to write a novel 
so you see it's really varied variated page and it's like if I had the journal I would just take a page more to do it but now I I put it on my weekly and what I like is like for example for my writing ideas if I continue to do brainstorm next week well I don't have to take a new page I just have to take my page and put it on this week so that's what I like of using the happy planner and doing the bullet journal method in it it's I re I can move pages and that's really fun so that's about it uh, I hope it will help you understand more how I do things and maybe inspire you so that's about it if you have any question just Write a comment and ask me and I hope it will inspire, inspire you to uh, write in your bullet journal, start a bullet journal, have a happy planner, whatever. Like, oh, it's so fun. I really love it. So, yay! If you do that already, if you have a bullet journal or a happy planner or both like me, just comment down below so we can exchange tips and just exchange our experience with it. So, have a great day! Ciao!